Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, and glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy, and Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O oh, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O oh, Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh, oh, my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes, in sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose help is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind, the Lord lifts up those who are bowed low, the Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the orphan. But the way of the wicked he brings to run. The Lord will reign forever, your God of Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God, trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. When you descend into death, life immortal, you slew Hades with the splendor of your divinity. And when from the depths you raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, Giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. O fillers of the gospel of Christ, loving him alone and despising earthly cares, you settled on an island. There you fought against the invisible foe, by fasting, vigil, and prayer, subjecting your bodies to the Spirit. You receive crowns and now stand before the Trinity. Pray, O Father Sergius and Herman, that our souls may be saved. Hades became fearful, Almighty Savior, seeing the miracle of your resurrection from the tomb. The dead arose in all creation with Adam, beheld this, and rejoiced with you. And the world, my Savior, praises you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You left the world to follow in Christ's footsteps and reached Lake Neva and the island of Alam. There you lived the angelic life, and were translated to the heavenly bridal chamber. 
As you stand with the angels, remember the children whom you gathered, that we may joyfully cry to you. Rejoice, blessed Father Sergius and Herman. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. All your mysteries, most glorious birth giver of God, surpass all understanding, sealed in purity and preserved in virginity. You are known to be in truth the mother who gave birth to the true God. Therefore pray to him for the salvation of our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord has chastened me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Brethren, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit which has been given to us. While we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Why, one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord, save the King, and hear us on the day we call out to you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The reading 
from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said, The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is not sound, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness! No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and men. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor about your body what you shall put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to, to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O men of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, in your loving care, you traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together 
and neighbors from helping one another. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, chaplains, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. O Master and Lord our Savior, Healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon Ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon Ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory, with your eternal Father, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all, in your goodness and love, for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me, 
enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns, and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, birth giver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word, true birth giver of God, we magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. O fillers of the gospel of Christ, loving him alone and despising earthly cares, you settled on an island. There you fought against the invisible foe by fasting, vigil, and prayer, subjecting your bodies to the Spirit. You receive crowns and now stand before the Trinity. Pray, O Father Sergius and Herman, that our souls may be saved. You left the world to follow in Christ's footsteps, and reached Lake Neva and the island of Valum. There you lived the angelic life, and were translated to the heavenly bridal chamber. As you stand with the angels, remember the children whom you gathered that we may joyfully cry to you. Rejoice, blessed Father Sergius and Herman.